Well, off I go again. Just at Wheelstones. Magnificent rocks. Been eating bagels and drinking coffee all day on my day off. But right, come on then, Barker, let's get you up this hill. <laughs> so I've got a salty tash now because I've been sweating. Just heading over to White Tor. Let's see how far I get. See where it feels nice to camp tonight. Uh, I think it's salt cellar or back to oh, see the veil of that day or in the distance there. Looking to scout, looking a little bit stormy. Can't see anybody camped over there. Usually some people over there. Quite a few people out still. I think it's about seven o'clock. I'll be walking poles. <laughs> Amazing new backpack. I think it's leaning to that side actually. Don't know. No, it's not. Right. Solid tash. Right. I'll bring you back in a bit. So I've reached my final resting place. And the sun is still up there. This little dude is called Salt Cellar. It's a little grindstone, no, gritstone rock. It's a little gritstone rock. It's massive. You can camp under it, but I'm not going to. I found this little spot. There's still quite a few people about. Stealth. Can't be doing stealthing. If there's people seeing you. <laughs> really popular for the travel photographers. You have some cracking sunsets like I hope I'm gonna get you. People set up tripods and wait for ages. Just bouncing around on some rocks at the moment and just got him to me warm wall top underneath. Set my tent up, I think. Too early. Yeah, it might be too early. Daft. <laughs> and I just slapped and carried on. I said, Really? You should try to get out more of. I mean, out all night. So, yeah, I'd quite like me tent up before the sun goes down.
wraps up warm because it's temperature soon drops when that sun goes down. There's hardly a breath of wind, it's just coming over every now and again. Magic. It's so quiet. So quiet. Got my head torch on. <laughs> just in case I can't see out. So just over there is the salt cellar boulder. I've had a bit of a fascination with this boulder for a while now. And I said to myself ages ago, I'm gonna go and camp at that boulder one day. And here I am. So this evening, definitely no one around. Um, this evening I have got a little video with a view for you whilst I eat a Reese's Pieces cupcake gonna put my kettle on shortly for a nice warm brew I get in my sleeping bag because that's it tonight sun's just gone down over there mm. thought I'd have a little treat I'm going to save one for the morning because everyone loves chocolate for breakfast so I was walking earlier thinking like where's my mind going to take me tonight where are, where am I feeling like I want to go for a camp I wanted to go to back tour which is right over there it's not too far away previously I've come out further close to the car near the Lady Bower Bridge but it's a big climb up at the top. Got me sweating like a beast. Um, but I needed that. I needed that because I've been eating bagels and drinking coffee all day. My day off. I'm at work tomorrow at night, so <laughs> I had a lazy one today. All right, good. Both the kids at school. Mark's in office. I'm just chilling, eating bagels all day, cuddling dogs. It were brilliant. I thought I'm gonna go camping tonight. So um, yeah, got all my stuff ready, which should take long because it's already packed up. A little bit like I do when I go swimming. Um, mm, this is delicious. Mm. So I carried on walking. But I have always wanted to come here, but I've always worried that someone else is going to get my spot a bit for me. But it is a school night. Most other people are working there to a fact. So I take advantage of that, and it's awesome. Mm. I found this lovely little spot. You can see the boulder. I hope it don't freak me out when I get out of the tent for a wee later. It looks like a person with a big head. <laughs> There's hardly a breath of wind. The weather forecast tells me that it's going to rain about 10am. I will be long gone. I will be at home having a shower, back to cuddling dogs, eating bagels. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just been on the rock, taking a video. Some snapshots. I can see right through the Vale of Edel from here. I can see the Kinder Plateau. I can see Loose Hill. I think it's called Mantor. Is it the Great Ridge? Russia Pedge, I think it is. And I can see Windhill. So I love it here because I see all my favourite places all in one view. I can 
can see the flight path to Manchester as well, which is interesting. Don't get too much noise over this way. So, yes, two night shifts coming up. I've already done my one shift this week and then two nights to follow. So I always like to do a little bit of um, restorative work prior to those. Build some energy. And I don't like wasting my week because I know I've got to work. I've got my bra hung up. It's drying because it was rather strenuous getting to the top. I think maybe if I start running again, things will be so strenuous. <laughs> you should be able to fit more layers under this size 14 jacket. And if I keep munching like this, oh my god. If I keep munching like this, it's not going to work. Is it? I wonder if I'm just trying to light on my face. Isn't it? Such a genius. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can see that lovely outline of salt cellar. You can see me in my little down jacket. Wowzers, that is so bright. pieces of cupcake. I'm gonna get a warm drink on. And I'm gonna get a Brazilian bag. It's so cool that you can do this on your phone. Oh no, I'm trapped in the moths. And now I can't see anything. Look at that. It's lighting it all up. <clears throat> drying in the doorway. Ready for tomorrow. And I'm gonna have a nice relaxing sleep. I'm not gonna have no nightmares about people squeezing me in my tent. Pardon me, I'm sure it gets easier. <laughs> 